Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news out of New Jersey: Over 60 arrested. Here's why. Newark, New Jersey: Officers from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement's (ICE) Enforcement and Removal Operations (ERO) arrested 60 individuals throughout New Jersey during a five-day public safety operation ending April 20th. The operation focused on individuals illegally present in the U.S. that had been convicted of serious criminal activity, to include sexual assault, child abuse, domestic violence, and driving under the influence (DUI). Of those arrested, 80 percent were convicted criminals, more than 20 had been issued a final order of removal and failed to depart the United States, or had been previously removed from the United States and returned illegally. Several had prior felony convictions for serious or violent offenses, such as aggravated assault child abuse, child sex crimes, and assault, or had passed convictions for significant or multiple misdemeanors. U.S. Customs and Border Protection and the U.S. Marshal Service assisted ICE during this operation. The success of this operation is a direct result of the full commitment of the dedicated men and women of ICE," said John Tsukaris, Field Office Director for Euro Newark. We will continue to devote the full efforts of our agency to protecting citizens and enforcing federal immigration law despite challenges being pursued by politically motivated individuals. Arrests include, Black Square, in Passaic, a 24-year-old Mexican national, who has convictions of aggravated assault with bodily injury and domestic violence assault, Black Square, in Edgewater, a 32-year-old, Colombian national, who has convictions of domestic violence slash aggravated assault, contempt violate domestic violence restraining order, and possession of controlled dangerous substance, Black Square, in southbound Brook, a 47-year-old previously removed Honduran national, who has convictions of felony forgery and hindering apprehension, Black Square, in Rockaway, a 38-year-old Jamaican national, who has convictions of child abuse and domestic violence assault, Black Square, in East Orange, a 51-year-old previously removed Guatemalan national who has convictions of distribution of controlled substance and multiple domestic violence assaults, Black Square, in Lodi, a 54-year-old Italian national, and registered sexual offender, who has convictions of sexual assault of a minor, aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, burglary and resisting arrest by force, Black Square, in West Long Branch, a 32-year-old El Salvadorian national with a warrant of removal who has convictions of evading law enforcement officer causing serious bodily injury and pending charges of possession of marijuana. Criminal histories of those arrested during the operation are as follows, DUI, domestic violence assault and abuse, child abuse, distribution of CDS, sexual assault on a minor, harassment, burglary, possession of a weapon, aggravated assault, shoplifting, theft, forgery, larceny, eluding and illegal entry. The arrestees include nationals from Brazil, China, Colombia, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Italy, Jamaica, Mexico, Peru, and Ukraine. Euro deportation officers made arrests throughout New Jersey, specifically in the counties of Bergen, Burlington, Camden, Cumberland, Essex, Hudson, Mercer, Middlesex, Monmouth, Morris, Ocean, Passaic, Somerset, and Union. ICE focuses its enforcement resources on individuals who pose a threat to national security, public safety and border security. However, ICE no longer exempts classes or categories of removable aliens from potential enforcement. All of those in violation of immigration laws may be subject to immigration arrest, detention and, if found removable by final order, removal from the United States. Some of the individuals arrested during this operation may face federal criminal prosecution for illegal reentry after deportation. The arrestees who are not being federally prosecuted will be processed administratively for removal from the United States. Those who have outstanding orders of deportation, or who return to the United States illegally after being deported, are subject to immediate removal from the country. The remaining individuals are in ICE custody awaiting a hearing before an immigration judge. Despite politically driven challenges that certain local jurisdictions have created, ICE remains committed to its public safety mission and will continue to seek out dangerous criminal aliens and other immigration violators. ICE seeks cooperation with all local law enforcement and elected officials when carrying out the enforcement of federal immigration law. ICE deportation officers carry out targeted enforcement operations every day in locations around the country as part of the agency's ongoing efforts to protect the nation, uphold public safety, and protect the integrity of our immigration laws and border controls.
These operations involve existing, established fugitive operations teams. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.